Research in occupational psychology has found mainly there are six sources of pressure and stress on people in the workplace. They are things like your work relationships, working with colleagues, subordinates, clients, customers, all those sorts of people, the most significant of which is your boss and the management style of your boss. Another issue that you find in the workplace is kind of demands on you, you know, your workload. How heavy is your workload? So overload can be a source of pressure on you, but by the way, so can underload, not having enough to do, particularly in a recession like we're in now, that can be problematic as well. And then another part of demands is about the work-life balance issues. Is your job interfering with your private life? Is your private life interfering with your job? Those are two really important areas to explore. Another pressure on people at work is not perceiving themselves to have control, not to be engaged and involved in decision making, not to feel part of a team, to feel valued. And so it is quite important that people have some say in what's going on and feeling valued in the workplace, otherwise it will deplete their well-being. In addition, change is another issue for most people. Think about it. Jobs are insecure now. Organizations are merging, acquiring, downsizing. Lots of change is taking place. And change itself creates a lot of stress and depletes a person's well-being unless it's managed properly. It's also important at work to have a kind of sense of purpose. You have to know what your role is. What, what's my role vis-a-vis -vis other people? What's my value system and does it align with the value system of the organization? Are we compatible? Do I understand what my team is doing? Do my team value and appreciate and understand what I'm doing? And this, I think, this sense of purpose is extremely important to people's well-being. Obviously, resources and communication are important in any job. You have to have the right resources, you have to have the right training, you have to have the right infrastructure to be able to do your job. And very importantly, there has to be good communications within a business. Your boss has to communicate well to you, the value systems, the objectives of the organization have to be communicated to you, and you have to be open to communicate to other people as well. These are also important uh, aspects of an individual's well-being. So those are the kind of key pressure points on a lot of people in the workplace now. And obviously organizations have to do what they can to kind of minimize these pressure points to try to enhance people's engagement, enhance their well-being, manage them properly and the like. But the individual also has a responsibility to enhance their own coping and personal resilience skills to deal with these issues as well. It's a marriage between the organization and the individual.